Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 2 of the KNR house. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to create grid lines and levels. And we also added side dimensions. We also add interior and exterior walls. And we inserted some fixtures, mainly the washroom fixtures. And here we're going to continue working on this. So first, let's go to insert and load family. We're going to add in furnitures. So go back to the main and go to furniture and let's add in a table first so let's choose in a rectangular table so i'm gonna load this and load some chairs to go with this so go back to furniture seating and then let's look for a chair so So let's use this and then click open and you need to go to architecture and click on component and let's add in the table first so i'm going to add the table right here and then go back and add the chair Click spacebar to change orientation. And what I usually do, is just use mirror, select this, and use mirror again. And then let's insert for a kitchen so go to furniture Canada casework and go to counter top I'm going to use this L shape with sync and go, uh, go back to architecture and click component. And I'm going to add it here, but I'm going to extend it more. And then let's insert and add in an island. Go back to architecture and let's add in the island right here. Let's add in the chair as well. So I'm going to add a chair here. Just CS here and add it again. Let's insert more furniture. So I want to add in seating. I want to add both of this. So just hold on control and the chair and the sofa. That's okay and go to architecture this will be facing here and we will also have some here
and look for the chair and let's load more family go to storage let's add in the entertainment center i'm gonna add it here you can add in the bigger one go to insert again let's add in some dresser or credenza and then insert again coffee table Let's choose the bigger one. We could add the coffee table right here. And also here. And sometimes it's better to add in an area rug to define the space. I would like to insert the door that uh, I want to add. go to residential let's use this pocket door sliding let's just select everything and go to door and add in sorry not the pocket door I want just the sliding so this one and select everything. Click door. And if you click one there, escape and then click again and then you will be able to change the dimension or the width of it. Let's add in some detailed line. I'm going to use thin line and let's add in some lines right here for the rod we're also going to add in so we're going to pull this back and let's add in detail line and a rectangle For the fridge, and also for the pantry. We can also add in the cookware here. So here, let's mirror this.
and then we will add in more information later on also let's insert the garage door so residential okay so we're gonna choose this click open and then go to doors and garage door so we're gonna add in two doors here double garage and then we could add in some tags and uh, actually i want to add in some credenza here so cs we'll be able to add in another one like that press escape and we have our office here let's add in a table for that So furniture, tables, so let's add in a desk, so adding the desk like that, and let's insert a chair. okay let's do some room separator i want to separate this by using rectangle so i want to tag this one as kitchen and then from there i want to tag this This will be stairs. So now click on room. We can individually add this there. So I'm going to click this as an entrance. Stairs. This will be storage, closet, so I'm just going to add this one so that we could change it all at once, the naming. okay so now this will be family area kitchen living area dining Washroom one. This will be laundry. So 
Fierce Entrance Closet This will be our storage Office Office washroom Garage Games room So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.